to a doctor's appointment Lucy and Jackson is today and then Aubrey is tomorrow uh, this is the doctor appointment that I referenced in my earlier vlog when I took Jack to the doctor and we found out that he had um, an ear infection so if you want you can go back and look at that because I will make a lot of reference too because we are really evaluating this doctor to see if she's gonna be our one um, so anyway, I am kind of in a rush. We got a late start on things. I forgot that I did not put gas in the car. So I'm literally almost riding on E. But we're hoping that we're gonna make it there and then afterwards uh, fill up. So I will check back in later. Okay, so we finally arrived at the um, office. We have been booking it. We've been in a hurry, right Lucy? Yes, and guess what guys? I don't know if I'm making my check in first because I think my brother's gonna get one. First. You think your brother's gonna get it first? Yeah. Well, where did you get this mask from? The doctor! Yeah, why? Uh, because I forgot my mask. That's right. We were so in a hurry that Lucy left her mask and I forgot to remind her. And we got into this office and I was like, I am not going back to that car. I think I have some extras in the diaper bag. But before I could go through it, we were called back. So, um, anyway, she saw that and was like, Oop. <laughs> and then we had to still come through the sick people side because of Jack Jack had a fever last night. I don't think he is feverish anymore. And, uh, but anywho, so we're gonna see how this visit goes. Um, I'm still checking things out. Still first impressions were pretty good. Jackson is tearing things up. Thank you, Jackson. Thank you, Bye. I don't think I mentioned the fact that I looked for his stroller in the car and it was not there, so <laughs> I had to hold him. So you can imagine how things are right now. Because if I had him, he would be in that stroller and would not be near the paper. He is a billy goat. He likes to tear, he likes to eat. So we definitely got to keep an eye on him. So um, I'm gonna go ahead on and wait for the doctor. And I'll check back in. Get the paper out your mouth, Billy Goat. Billy Goat. <laughs> Billy Goat. <laughs> I got it. I got it. This is going to be a long visit. Get your hands off of that boy. <laughs> yes. Oh, how do you put it on? Well, first you have to take off your dress. And that's a hospital gown or doctor's gown. Cute, huh? All right, so let's get up. You're gonna step back down and take off your dress, okay? And then you can put on your gown. I won't be naked. You, well, that's why they gave you the gown, so you won't be naked. All right. How is it going so far? Good. So what have you done so far? So far, I checked my, um, my body, and so I have Jackson, and right now, Jackson's naked and I have this on the hospital right <laughs> Lucy, now. Lucy, what did the doctor do for you? Did she check your eyes? Yes. What else did she check? And she touched my ears and made sure she said, put the, hear the sound on your, um, what, the headphones on you? Yeah. It was so awesome. You thought it was awesome? Yeah, I had pretty much fun, but now I'm pretty much having, like, to, now I'm going to see the doctor now. Yeah, you got to wait for the doctor. All right. Right now I'm just looking at TV. Oh, okay, cool. Isn't that fun? Yeah. I just got my two shots. You got your two shots? Yeah, and Carrier and my little pony. And I got some stickers. It's Alina and Dr. Stephens. So I'm going to put Alina on. Wait, wait, I'm going to put Dr. Stephens on and Alina on. I don't know, but I'm going to put Dr. Stephens. Okay, guys, you go over here. Then I'll have to hold the stuff. Awesome. You got it on backwards, babe. It is. Turn it around. There you go. Awesome. What you going to do with your other one? Um. You know that? Okay, we can just hold on to it. Well, you're going to be the cool girl. You get to go back to school with a sticker. 
Ooh. It has been a long day, but let me go ahead on and bring you guys up to speed. Um, after I came from the doctor, as you know, I was running out of gas. So we stopped to get gas and boy, oh boy, I did a fill up. And I think this is the first time I can recall it costing like over 50 bucks more than that. I think generally it was like 40 something, but I think I paid like 55 something for a fill up today. Anyway, I went and got Lucy and Jackson or Lucy something to eat because she wanted to go back to school with her food, you know, and brag to the other kids because <laughs> she could have perfectly ate school lunch, but she, she was like, no, mama, you got to give me something to eat. So after getting two shots because we're getting caught up on our vaccinations, I felt like I owed the old girl something. Also, guys, do not mind my laundry behind me, okay? This is real life. Um, and so it has not been folded and there it sits and we, you know, hopefully it gets folded this week. If not, it'll be there and we'll pull what we need to pull from it <laughs> and keep going. I'm going to just talk a little bit about our visit. Um, it was cool. The doctor was, once again, was very personable. I, I like her. I don't think I like her or her philosophy about medicine in general, as much as the other lady or how she conveyed it, let me say that. Neither here nor there, I respect where they come from as uh, as far as a practice on vaccination because I am not against vaccinations. I will I would classify myself as vaccine hesitant um, and I've always been the one who said I did not want to necessarily follow the same schedule that they put out because I feel like giving kids two and three and four shots at a time in the span time that they want is huge. Lucy has some shots that she has to get caught up on. And then obviously we have to get started with Jax cause he has not had any. <laughs> so um, she really embraced the I, my idea of, you know, wanting to be slow and she was fine with that as long as it was steady. We ended up deciding to with Lucy she got to, um, and I think need maybe two, one more or three more, but there are some that we're just gonna let her age out of. There's two that need to be done by four, and because she has already gotten two shots of them, she feels like, you know what, since we're so close to that age time frame, we're good. So I like that, you know, that she didn't really try to force me to give her needless shots. Jackson, on the other hand, he, uh, has a little further to go, um, but it, we ended up deciding to give him one. At first she was pushing for two and I was considering it, but once she actually did her physical, he actually has another ear infection. So I don't know if it's another ear infection or if the other ear infection didn't totally get cleared up because I opted out of a follow-up after the two weeks of him getting the um the treatment the antibiotic treatment uh, because we had like the very next week we had our regularly scheduled appointments so anyway this time i'm gonna go back for a uh, follow-up um she has increased the dosage of the antibodies and i have to be uh, a lot more proactive in making sure um, he is doing his probiotics because um, antibiotics, if you do not know, really eats up the the good bacteria, gut bacteria that your body needs. We're going to give him that and then I'm going to make sure that he is really getting not only his regularly scheduled or supplement that I normally give him that some days I miss and some days I don't. Antibiotic, I mean probiotics, we're going to make sure that I start giving him maybe some um, non-dairy smoothies that has probiotics in it um, because you know it's just a lot for him to take and prayerfully the treatment works this time if not she said we might have to go some other course as far as like getting some type of injection but prayerfully this work um, but she got kudos because once she found out that he had the the ear infection she was like okay let's just go ahead on and give him one of the vaccines and I think she did that you know more so like error, erring on caution because of me. So I really appreciate that. The nurse, once again, she was a good nurse, wasn't bad. But when she was like looking up to see where my kids were in the beginning before the doctor came, whether or not they had their vaccinations, she was like, oh, 
uh, Lucy needs some vaccines, so you need to get caught up on some. And then, oh, Jackson ain't had any. I was like, huh? But you know what? I can't be offended over every little thing. Obviously, I know most doctors are gonna have their philosophy. You know, some of them don't even want to work with you. And I've gone to some that, you know, when I express how I feel, they made me, well, I ain't gonna say make me feel small, but it's like they got a big head and like, how dare you come back with something and I'm the doctor. Well, you know what? I respect you as a professional, but I'm the parent. And I expect for a physician to respect that title. You know, as a teacher, the same way. I'm a professional. I really feel like what I know, or I don't want to say I know better than you, but I'm saying I went to school to do X, Y, Z. But at the end of the day, this is your child. You know your child better than me, blah, 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 blah. So I always take that into consideration. So I expect the same thing. I did not get that vibe from the practice whatsoever. And so um, this is it. We have found a landing place for my children, hopefully for the next 18 years for Jack and on down for the other two. So I'm excited. I forgot the name of the practice already, but I will make sure I put it up and include it in the um, description as well. Um, if you guys are close to me or in the Metro Atlanta area and you want to try them out, I will say do it because um, I think it's awesome. Oh, one of the things that um, I love about them too, they do have on call and you they are on call with their own doctors. Now, in some instances, you're going to have to pay for it, but I like the fact that I get to talk with the physicians who see my child. One of the things that I get so frustrated with Teladoc or, you know, that nurse's hotline that your insurance have. And matter of fact, I just used it the other day for myself. You call in, you answer all of these computer generated questions. And then at the end of the day, they don't give you anything definitive. Cause the lady was like, oh yeah, well you might be okay, but I can't tell you whether or not to do it or not to do it. What was my purpose with calling you if I still had to go and make an appointment lady what you just wasted like 20 minutes of my time so anyway i like the fact that um when i call outside of hours i still get to talk to one of two i believe of the doctors that is in that practice and so at that point i feel like they will really or feel more confident with being able to maybe uh prescribe things without seeing you or giving you more concrete directions versus just calling them and they still saying, oh, you got to go to the doctor or you got to make an appointment. So that is another reason why that I'm going with them. They are really close to my house. Kudos. That's another big deal for me um, while I'm going with them. Obviously, they accept my insurance. That's another. Oh, yeah. Another thing that I, um, Another reason why I like this practice, and I don't know if it's something that all practices are doing now, but on a little checkoff thing with, I guess it's, I think it's called behavioral health. Anyway, they have like learning disabilities, ADHD, and um, it has been the first time that I've actually seen it be a part of a checklist. You know, most times you have to bring it up. I like the fact that they are being, um, I guess, a preemptive strike that is there, address whether or not it's something that occurs in your family and to go from there. So that is another reason why um, I am definitely going with them. I will keep you guys updated on how we are liking our new pediatrician. All right, have a good one.